King Coupe HVAC Chronicles. Listen up, guys. The power pressure pump, look at it spitting out. That's why you got water everywhere. This is gonna have to be tightened up or changed, but look at it spitting out, guys. This is very, very hot and dangerous. I'm gonna get a contract out here to look at this, but um, we might get it replaced. But for the meantime, we're gonna shut off the steam, guys. We don't want this to become all the way out in the hallway and create a lot of damage. So let's turn the steam off. Coming in. Oh, that thing is hot. All right. I'm gonna hit it from right here. Uh, there go my pressure right there. Always be mindful. Eliminate the problem. Don't make it worse. Quick video, this gauge probably don't even work. But um, let's turn this thing off. Yeah. Cause that thing was spitting. At first I thought it was the water heater. I thought somebody kind of cranked down the pressure relief valve and did it behind there, but nah. I was trying to figure this out, like, where is this water coming from? Because I don't see no water leaking right there, but we found that problem, guys. Once that pressure comes, comes inside here, this supposed to condense it. So when it condenses it, it shoots it back out to the condensation outside. All right? So this is what this job is. Got to get the information off of there. Get a contractor to come look at this, or maybe just tighten this up. Maybe I could just tighten that up. But, um... That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna crank it down. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna see if that works. I'm gonna crank it down. And if it don't stop, then we're gonna have to replace it. All right, I'll be right back. Welcome back guys, got our socket set, big boy, had to bring out the big boy. We gonna um, do a little reaching right now and try to figure out what size we need. I'm gonna try to eyeball it. Uh, you guys see what it was, okay, so this is seven eighth. Hmm, might be, I don't know, I don't know. Let's get a... Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hopefully it's that 7 eighth. Don't think that's 7 eighth. We don't know, but I mean. Yeah, we gotta do something about that. Let's shut this down. Let's get up in here, guys. Ah. Some water. Let's get out and dirty. Down and dirty. Yeah. Alright guys, it's pretty dark, so I ain't got no light. Uh. Alright, be careful, be careful, be careful. Lights in here, always knock like I tell you. Still got water, keep coming out. Pray to God this is the size. Damn, we need one a little bit bigger. All right, let me go back and get a bigger one, guys. Um, it seems like it pretty cooled down, but I'll be right back. Let me go back to the truck and get a bigger size than that. All right, All right King Cooper family, still wet. As you can see, be careful, don't slip. Steam is still off. It's an inch and an eighth. That's what size it was, guys. So this pump, see the water about to come out. The pump just started. Let's just tighten up this. See, can we stop? Ah! This down here was leaking too. This is the one I really wanted. Both hands.
<laughs> Hopefully that could have sealed it. I don't know, but we're gonna try to get all of them, at least a notch, because over time, they start to um, loosen up. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna kind of hit this one too. Some of these might just be loose. Ah, crank it. Ah, righty tighty lefty loosey. All right. Let's see, can I get back here? Get this one a little bit. I'm gonna try to get it. You don't want to over tighten it. Hold on, guys. Ouch. God, that thing was still hot. All right. See, this thing was kind of loose. Ah! Whew. All right. Come from right there. I want to hit that one a little bit more. <sighs> mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't a flick of the wrist no more. It's a twist of the wrist. <laughs> All right, guys, we should be pretty good. Let's turn this stain back on. This gauge is bad too. I'm gonna end up replacing that. You wanna turn it on slow. All right, just let it right up. Let it right up. Got to replace this too. I need to tighten that up. Matter of fact, got me a wrench. Oh, I might just have to replace it. Yeah, just a little bit. All right. Do that right there. All right, let's open up this, continue to open up this stain. So we can see if it's gonna keep leaking on there. Hopefully, the way I tighten it up, it should have did the job. It's old, but if I need to call a contractor, which I'm still probably gonna do and just get it replaced, I don't need to worry about it. This whole steam station, this is called a steam station. This whole steam station is shot. You know, you got, Steam shooting outside, water shooting outside. Um, but it should have did the job. You gotta wait for it to come back around. Since that is open, we're gonna let it do its job. And if it starts shooting water out, then we know that we gotta call a contractor. But you have to wait. I wanna read this too. <clears throat> Pressure power pump is gonna be 125 PSI G, 8.6, 6, 6, 1, 6. Is that an eight or a zero? Zero. 6, 6, 1, zero. Okay. I'll take a picture of that. I don't see no leaking no more, guys. Let's get some paper towels. Clean up some of this now. So we can definitely see. Clean it all, see what you guys working with. Let's get all this gunk out. I'm gonna get some um, more towels or something like that so I can get all that up. But for right now, we're just gonna utilize what we have accessible. I need to replace that packing nut in there. That's why it's leaking, the packing nut is bad in there. But that's not really important. The most important thing is making sure this thing don't go out in the hallway and flood everything. Somebody can come in here and slip, hit their head and get hurt really bad. So that's why it's always good to just fix the problem or shut it off. 
I don't see it leaking no more, guys. Let's wait for it to come through. And that's the only thing I turned off. That's on. That's on. Pressure regulator. Got some more in there. Now. That's on. That's on. Huh? Oh, that's on. Yeah, that's on. Should be giving me stuff. I ain't do nothing down here. Ouch. Now, if you guys think I'm playing about how hot it is and these pipes, you don't think that it's hot? I'm going to show you something real quick that'll change your mind. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back with the handy dandy. Now, this is very dangerous. Got to be very careful. You can smell it. You can feel it. The heat is here. And we ain't talking about Miami. I want you guys to take a look at how much heat is coming out. Look at the temperature. Two. What is that? 250 degrees. That's what you got. I just heard that too, guys. Y'all heard that? Think we fixed the problem. No more water coming out. Simple as that, guys. Just tighten up these two, three. Then the one over there. Give it a little, uh, a little twist of the wrist. And that's what you got. Voila. Another episode of King Cooper. H5 Chronicles. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. All right, guys. Last but not least, let's write down the date. December 10th, 2001. Inch and an eighth, socket, pump, tighten. All right, so make sure you just keep notes so you'll know, you don't forget. If you got a lot of calls or whatever like that, just be mindful so when you come back, you will actually know what you're dealing with. You will know what side you need, so you ain't gotta keep running around for almost two hours. Just do what you gotta do, guys. Can't remember everything your notepad. Comes handy. Peace.